Revenge Films. Found out my husband, Bob, was cheating on me. He was seeing his mom's friend's daughter, who was also married at the time. When I confronted him, he begged me for another chance. But his mom, Katie, really loved Blair, the girl he was seeing. What about Blair? She's so sweet! Forget her! Stick with Blair! Looks like she wanted her son to stay with Blair. Turns out Kathy wanted Bob to marry Blair all along. We've been married for six years now, but she's praised Blair's name in front of me every chance she got. Bob wanted to start over, but not me. I was done with him. Then Katie said, We'll pay you whatever you want. Just stay out of his way. And so, we settled. The divorce was finalized, and Katie paid me in full with the money she got for selling the house. This is for my baby Bob and Blair. It's worth every penny. She paid me $50,000 in damages. When she <laughs> handed me the money, she said, I guess you can buy happiness with money. <laughs> then I sued Blair for damages. Katie flipped out. I already gave you $50,000. That's more than enough! Stop being greedy! She was furious, but it's pretty normal for the wife to sue the mistress. I guess she didn't know. It didn't matter how much I got from my husband. One had nothing to do with the other. This is none of your business! This is within my rights. If you don't stop harassing me, I'll sue you, too. Then, Blair's ex-husband sued Bob for damages. Like I said, she was married too, so... <laughs> Good riddance. But Katie was pretty surprised by this. She didn't know that Blair's ex-husband could sue Bob like that. How stupid is she? She was planning to get a new house and live happily ever after with Bob, Blair, and their kids. But she soon realized that it wasn't gonna work. In the end, she ended up paying Blair's ex-husband because she didn't want this going to trial. She wanted to protect her son and his girlfriend, I guess. And now, with all that out of the way, she thought she was in the clear. She was planning to pay for the down payment herself and get Bob to take out a mortgage. But then, she found out that Bob was already up to his neck in debt. <laughs> she was shocked, but she paid back his debts for him. But then, Blair got back together with her ex-husband. Things weren't going as planned for her. She started to panic, but there wasn't much she could do. The house was huge, and it wasn't cheap to take it down. So, in the end, they didn't have much money left. They sold the house and everything. Too bad for them. Then, one day, she came over to see me and my parents' house. How did she know I was here? Your stupid daughter stole $50,000 from me! Give it back! Now! That's it. I've had enough. I decided to tell her everything I've been bottling up all these years. Listen, I know you wanted grandkids, but your son is infertile. Bet you didn't know that. Huh? She looked confused. So I explained it to her in words she could understand. We tried to have a baby, but couldn't for years. So we went to see a doctor. That's when we found out that Bob was infertile. Want to see the report? No! Liar! Sorry, but it's true. I hate to break it to you, but your son will never be able to have kids. I guess no grandkids for you. You understand what I'm saying? I said with a big smile on my face. Man, that felt good. She was yelling at first, but I guess she realized that I was telling her the truth. Blair was gone and she was never going to see her grandchildren. She was devastated. She left the house without saying a word. My parents wanted to say something to her too for what she did to me, but I handled it just fine. They told me, Good job. After that, the two of them moved into a small apartment. Then Bob started to show his true colors. Not sure why or how, but he was in debt again. A few years ago, he bought an Alfa Romeo that cost more than $50,000. He could have sold that to pay off his debt, but didn't. They were barely making ends meet. And come to think of it, it all started with the Alfa Romeo a few years back. I want a car like that someday. So he started working really hard to save up money. He lived with his parents and when he had enough for a down payment, he took out a loan and bought his dream car. Pretty normal, right? This is how most people buy cars. But my husband was stupid. I didn't know you could pay for things later. I could buy anything I want. 
He started using his credit card like crazy. He realized that he could buy things even if he didn't have the cash on hand. And he loved it. And there were all kinds of payment plans like revolving credit. He seemed really excited about all of this. I worked too, so we were able to make ends meet. But now that I was gone, they were broke. Then, less than a month later, she came crying to me. Help me, please! Can you believe her? I was wrong to say all those things about you. Please take Bob back, please. You're the only one for him. I'm sorry I upset you. I really am. And I'm sorry for my son too. He should have never cheated on you. He was so lucky to have you. She begged me to forgive her. Blair's mom was my best friend and I wanted her to be happy too, but I realize now that I was wrong. Listen, I don't care if we're broke. We just want to start over with you, please. Seriously? Wow. Then she started complaining about her son. This is all his fault. We're the victims here. You don't have to marry him again if you don't want to. I know that's a lot to ask, but please come back to us, please. She wasn't making any sense. I just wanted her out of my life. Hell no! Get out! Please, Ellie, I'm really sorry. I don't care. I'm happy right where I am. Please, I'm an old woman. Please have mercy. You remember the things you said to me? Things you did to me? I do, and I'm sorry. And I know you just want me back for the money. And you're right, I got plenty of money now, thanks to you. But sorry, you're a complete stranger to me now, so... Please! Ugh. A cheating ex-husband, up to his neck in debt, and his mean, twisted mother. Why the hell would I go back and live with you guys? Are you dumb? Then mom came between us and told me to stop. Just get out, now. If not, I'm calling the cops. And if you come back again, I'm suing you. Never show your face in front of me again. She finally gave up and left. I don't know what happened to them after, and I don't care. It's not my fault her son grew up to be a loser. Anyways, I got settlement money from both Bob and Blair. So I had more than enough money. Plus, I still had my job, so money wasn't a problem for me. Glad I didn't quit my job when I got married to him. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.